Oldman Matthew Dunn, a Democrat from Kingston's First Ward, earlier this week, appeared before the Kingston Common Council's Finance Economic Development Committee to stress the importance of getting more details about Mayor Shane Gallo's proposal to put a police station in Midtown Kingston. <laughs> Potential for the council's involvement, we may it, it makes sense for us to get some information now um, before the project moves too much further ahead. So that was my request to, to gather this information now, uh, so that we know the potential cost implications and whether or not that this will be um, it, it will address the safety or the, the crime concerns in the midtown area. As far as I'm aware, we don't have any information. Um, about the potential cost or about the potential impact on the reduction of crime by moving the police station from, um, from its current place in Bank of America building. I, I know Shane also said that there are many that's been presented um, or given by the administration. So I think this is just us doing our due diligence. So, I, and the letter was, was more of a request to, to the administration, to the chief, or whoever may be able to provide the information about the potential implications and the cost and, and the benefits. What That's would right. be the potential for any implication on the city budget as far as uh, upkeep or modification or what, whatever it may moving be. costs. Moving, moving costs, costs, maintenance costs. Uh, on off moving, pick the phone up. The other facilities. The, 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 the loss of, of potential tax, the, 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 the assessment rolls. So. Um, benefit. So those are that's money that would be coming away from from community organizations. And I understand that, but I think there's a need to reduce the crime in this area as well as the whole city. So partial money should possibly be granted there. No, and I wasn't here last night, but I'm not saying I don't see the pros and cons or the balance. Well, we haven't seen any any. So we were looking at the community development plan last night. But there was no allocation on that to. Um, you know, um, we're collecting information, okay, and there's nothing to provide, really. KLDC now owns the building. It clearly is something that the mayor wants to explore and is in the process of exploring. But it's extremely premature at this point to be talking about, you know, commitments, data, studies, or anything like that. We're just not at that point yet. Well, I think that's the point of, of the yeah. the discussion here is to find out, you know, it, it, there's nothing to provide at this point. There really isn't. The entire discussion about um, the second courtroom um, was, you know, the Office of Court Administration basically saying, you know, if the building's empty, you know, they've been talking about a second courtroom, so we can put in a second courtroom. Right? It's nothing for them. Matt, yeah, basically your letter just keep asking the mayor Keep right. that, yeah, that's right. So the, before the process proceeds too far ahead to say, look, it's a done deal. We have no choice now. We want the information up front so that we're informed so that we can be a partner in this process and, and evaluate and evaluate the merits of it if it does go forward or if it does not go forward, but so that we're given that opportunity. Mayor Shane Gallo wants the police station to be here at the former Bank of America building on Broadway in Midtown. He's called it the centerpiece of his Midtown revitalization plan. I'm Paul Kirby, reporting for the Daily Freeman.